morning. Go. I don't know what you're looking at. I don't know what we're looking at. Good morning. Okay. Okay, how's everybody? Let's see if anybody's there. <sighs> okay, this is an impromptu. Impromptu? Impromptu. Okay, this is just a. I'm going to challenge you Monday morning. So let's see if we're here. Okay, we're here for real. Good. <sighs> of course, I looked down at my clock and it's literally like 7.58 after I said 8 o'clock and I'm rushing around like a mad woman. All right, if anybody joins or you're watching the recording, I'm going to take my medication this morning. <laughs> And I'm going to say good morning. All right. It's 8 o'clock on Monday morning. And I thought I would just pop on here to do a little bit of a, whoops, a little bit of a live um, Monday meditation. Kind of go what, oh, through my morning real quick with you guys. Because people are always asking me, how do you have time? Blah, blah, blah. So I thought I would just be honest. Um so if you're watching the replay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, I started my day this morning at 5.30 with a cup of, a cup of tea, because I always start with a cup of tea. And then I drug myself to the gym, and I had a good 45-minute run. Then I had a about five-minute planking session, session where I just plank, and I really dry lips. And um, then I was on the treadmill again and I thought oh I'm gonna I'm gonna share my morning meditation with you guys sorry I'm gonna share kind of my morning I was home by 7 15 showered by 7 30 7 45 jumped on here I'll do some work I want to do my morning meditation which is what I do and I thought I would just share it with you so um, I'm gonna be more in the habit of challenging you guys and um I'm going to record them, of course, but I'm going to challenge you guys a little bit. And this morning is no different. I'm trying to see what video. Oh, okay. I got the right camera. Um, my necklace is out. Okay. So I'm going to make it a point because I want to get on here to the founding members and um, um, sorry, morning, morning work. I want to just get on here and, and challenge you guys to open up your art journals. I have noticed this week that I've gotten lots of really cool emails. I've gotten a lot of really great feedback from my videos, which is so fantastic because you never know if it's reaching people. And I wanted to set a challenge for you because we've talked about building upon things and you should have gotten an art journal by now. You maybe have some paints, maybe you don't have some paints. I don't know where you're starting from, but I wanted to just do a quick background because today's weekly challenge is all going to be about creating a background. That 30 minutes or whatever it takes. Now, if you're, um, I tend to be more of a morning person now because the kids go to school and I have the morning and I go to work about 9 30, 10. Um, and since I wake up so early by, sorry, I'm trying to fix my necklace. By the time I get home at night and I make dinner and, you know, whatever the kids have me doing or going, um, I'm usually tuckered out by eight o'clock. So I grabbed my tea this morning and sometimes I would be outside and um, I grabbed, I, I started a teaching journal that I'm just going to teach from. And I've already have a couple of lessons in here. So um, I'm going to share that screen. Let's just do that. Let's just share that screen. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out how to share that screen. <gasps> no. No. 
Nope. <laughs> okay, there I am. Um, I think that works. Good. Okay, I think that works. So um, this is going to be something. It always is something. Um, I will go back to, oh, that's going to be something. That is something. <laughs> and that is something. All part of the grand plan. But today, I'm going to share with you a background. And what I do, so we'll cut out, we'll just make it the whole, whoops, I want to make it the whole screen. Sorry about that. I'm getting used to this thing. Okay. Did that work? No. There we go. All right. So this book I'm using is a hardcover mixed media book. We talked about journals a couple of Facebook Lives ago. God, it seems like a month ago. Uh, probably was a month ago. Um, this is just painter's tape. I like to stick it up the side of it just uh, because I do, because I'm kind of a neat freak. Whoops. I'm, I'm working on this autofocus issue, but... Of course, I didn't grab everything I needed this morning, but I'm going to grab it right now. And I told you I'm going to keep this simple, but I'm going to try and hopefully you can still hear me. Okay. All right. So all I'm going to do for right now is I just stick paper, paper towel or something. I try to protect the inside, but. I just grabbed a couple of watercolors. I'm going to challenge myself not to use the same colors I use all the time. But I want to have a background in here to work on. So the next time we talk, I have something to work on. And my challenge to you this week is to get a background in there. Get going. I'm always saying move your rear, but this time I'm going to say move your paintbrush. Okay? Oops. Sorry, that was my chair. It wasn't me. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm going to show you myself. Okay, we'll move this over. I swear to God, that was a chair, not me. So today, and I'm going to, I just grabbed a quick set of watercolors. These, these are Jane Davenport. I don't, they've even, they've kind of relocated themselves. I don't even know what this color is or where this goes. I'm guessing it goes here. I travel with them, so I'm gonna grab. Um, I'm just gonna water this down. It's gonna make moving the wa the watercolors a little bit easier. And I grabbed a big round paintbrush. Nothing special. Of course, it's special. It's a Dynasty brush, but it. I'm not really thinking behind the size of the paintbrush. All right. And I'm going to, what am I going to do? Let's go dark. Let's go very dark. Let's go, we'll start light. Okay. The secrets to watercolors, keep them wet, keep them wet, keep them moving. Good morning. Oh, you are so welcome, Marianne. So you'll be able to see the replay, but basically I'm coming on here for my Monday morning medica med medication, meditation. And this is my like half hour to just get something down before I go to work. And I'm challenging everybody to do a background and share it this week. I thought this, let's get motivated. And you are so welcome for the gift. That means you have to pull, okay, it said no teal, but what color is this? I think this is more green. Okay, it's more green. I'm semi not lying when I say no teal. I just sprayed this down. Oh, glad somebody could join me. But my Monday morning meditation, I will, 
I want to share kind of how I get a background started. I don't know what this is going to be. I never know what it's going to be. Oh, she's starting now. Okay, great. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you like this idea. I'm going to be popping into the founders group more regularly because I want to know, I really need to move my water. I want to know what you guys, nope, that's not the color I want. I, I switched them. They move, they're moving around in here. Not that I don't mind purple, but I'm not really purple. Okay, so the challenge this week is to create a background and to share it. And this is just something, I, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is some blue. It's a really dark blue. And yes, this is how things go. This is what I would normally be doing sometimes outside, but it was 37 degrees out this morning. So uh, when I got up at five o'clock in the morning, and there's something about. Okay, good, good. I, I, I wanna, um, I wanna do, you know, you guys are with me and I want to create at random times. I'm going to share it. I'll try and give you a heads up. I'll try to schedule it. I will record them all. That makes it a ton easier. Um, it's nicer to paint with people though. I did go to my friend Dina's yesterday who she did start her art journal. So that was really exciting. She was doubting herself and I was like, no. I mean, look at how ugly this is. I told her that there is a process to this and the process in learning is that there is a beginning, a middle, an ugly, and an, a beautiful ending. It's when you hit the ugly, you got to be able to trudge through it. Okay, good. I know a lot of my, so this is going to be my teaching book, and I'm going to make it a point to regularly share what's going on in it. I was just coming up with my webinar stuff for the 11th and 12th, so if you haven't signed up for that, um, there's a link for, on your artful journey, which I will try to pull up before I leave, but your artful journey.com should have it there. All right. I know this is just crazy ugly at the moment. Just like life. That is what exactly what I said. So I have my tea this morning and I'm drinking out of, oh, I can show it here. I'm drinking out of my, where have you run? I'm running a half marathon on Sunday. Very ill prepared for it. Okay. I mean, I'm not not prepared, but I'm I'm not greatly I'm not as prepared. As, so I'm just spraying this. I really went with dark colors. I know that, which is a little bit unlike me. And I'm just really gonna wet the you know what out of this. Okay, good. I love that. We've got some people watching, which is really exciting. I know but this is, it's going to be short and sweet because I literally am going to leave it like this, I think. I'm going to let it, oh, I kind of like what it's doing, but um, as always, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm just letting it. And I really like the dark color. I'm not crazy about that big giant streak down the middle. <laughs> These are just some watercolors I grabbed. I really am unliking, not liking, unliking. Let's give a couple to match. Let's... And the great thing about watercolors is they dry quite quickly. Now I will have a background that I can come to later on when I'm feeling it. Or when I got time, this is seriously what I'd love to do in the morning. Drink my tea, relax. Okay. Whoa, that was a lot of water. Uh, a lot of water. I'm just letting it tip off the... Woo! For those wondering, these are my Jane Davenport watercolors. They travel really well. So at some point, I like to just lay it down and let it. 
let it dry. Like just let it set and stop running all over the place and it will dry. I can throw a heat gun on it. And I forget. See, this is so cool. I get to I get to be here. And I'm gonna leave just this tape. It it probably ran underneath the tape. I'm not over I never concerned about that. I just like to keep it off of the spine. So I'll take this out because it's pretty soaking wet. And this will just dry. Actually, I'll probably just add this back in here. I don't even care about the second page. If it gets on there, it gets on there. And that is my background. So if I have more time, which I said I'd be on here for, you know, 15 minutes or so. So normally when I have more time, take a picture of it so I can share it. I will maybe throw a heat gun on it. If I'm outside, it dries super quick. So I don't have to worry about the dry time or anything. Um, and that's, that is fun, but it's already starting to dry. Um, and then I would go on with my design. But this week, I very much want to challenge you because I noticed that everybody in the group is starting to get in the groove and we're starting to get the guts to start trying a new journal. You don't have to start on page one. You can start on page two. And I would like to encourage you to share with me, whether you email, post it to our group, post it to my studios page. Oops, garbage cans on the other side. And um, my webinar is already set for the 11th and the 12th. And we are going to have lessons in that live. I'm gonna, I've already designed my lesson plan for that. And I'm really excited. And this was that simple. I didn't overthink it. I used three colors. I used a green, like a bright neon green. I don't know what this other color was, like a greenish teal, but I promised myself I wouldn't use teal. And then I used a really dark blue. I really like like a Prussian blue hue. That's what it reminds me of. And then I just watered this bad boy down, let it drip all the way down the page. And we don't know what it's going to turn into, but I plan on it turning into something amazing. So that was my Monday morning meditation. And good. We got somebody who said they already like it. If you watch the replay, you can leave me a comment. And um, I hope to see some backgrounds, if not more, this week. And I will see you guys Wednesday live on Facebook, of course, um, from my studio. But we're going to start, I'm going to start challenging you to find that time. If I can get up and be at the gym at 5.30 in the morning, 5.45. And thank you for the hearts. And I encourage you to share with your friends. Um, I'm going to probably upload some of these to YouTube so that we have some sort of memory of what we are challenging, um, uh, what I'm challenging you to do. And then anything that you want to see, if you want to see me do something else, you know, we're going to build upon it. We're going to always build upon it. Okay. Every tip and trick I have is I'm here to share. So that's our Monday kickoff for the week. How'd we do? I'll turn this off because my work is starting to text me. <laughs> Where are you? What are you doing? Well, I'm busy. I'm in a meeting. <laughs> Can you tell I'm very structured with my morning time? Okay. So here's a reminder. There's a reminder. That's the background I created in less than 15 minutes. I challenge you to turn to page two or turn to page, turn to page five. For those of you who have a journal who's got dust on it, time to dust that bad boy off. And then I will see you Wednesday night live. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.